Today, uh, we, we just done a, tried to clarify exactly what we're going to do in attack. Uh, we've done that indoors, and uh, so tomorrow we'll, 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 we'll get started on that on the, on the pitch officially. And, and just in particular about Brian O'Driscoll, um, you know, obviously any time he picks up an injury it is quite concerning, but again, you hope that he's going to be okay. Is that he sprained his ankle, is it? Yeah, he just, he just rolled his ankle on uh, in the Aviva. He's fine, like he's, he's, he's walking around fine. Uh, they're not really concerned about him at all. And uh, just again on Rob Carney, is he unlikely to? Be, uh, what, what no, way Rob is. Uh, Rob's really good. Uh, he's recovered really well since last week, and uh, the signs are that uh, he could very well play this weekend. He'll train today. He'll train tomorrow, and uh, a decision will be made on him then t towards the end of the week. It's an ideal warm-up game, not a warm-up game, but Munster huh? test going into a Heineken Cup. Yeah, well, Munster, Munster games, <laughs> they're ideal in, in, in the commitment and stuff like that. But what's not ideal is obviously the intensity of the game that you play the game at and the amount of injuries you pick up. But uh, I think both sides will be bruised and battered from the weekend. But it will it will stand us uh, both good when it comes to when it comes to the Heineken Cup this week. Um, I suppose uh, for us, we're, we're obviously really happy to get through the game with a win and uh, so now it's just a case of putting that one behind us and, and moving on. How much do you know about your next opponents? Like honestly, who knows about them? Yeah, Exeter are a really good side in, in fairness to them. They've obviously done very well at the moment. They've played, uh, all, uh, I think they've played the four top teams from the Premiership last year in their first in their first few matches and they're line sixth in the in the league. Uh, good win at, at the weekend. They look, they look to be a very tight group. Uh, they look to be uh, a group that will really try and play for for, them, for for each other and for themselves. And the, the one thing that you would notice is that on turnover balls, they're very, very dangerous. A lot of pace in the outside channels and uh, some fairly big boys as well. So, Has anybody in the squad had a run out against them? Has Toner been out against them? Uh, I'm not sure. We played against them uh, four seasons ago. I think it was four seasons ago in the British and Irish Cup. And uh, a number of guys, I'd say, I'd say Devon could have played that day. That was over there. Um, but like they're, they've a passionate crowd. They've, uh, they've, they've really come on as a club, and they look like a like they'll be a, a light in English rugby for the next few years. And you have you have a British and Irish Cup match as well this weekend. Yeah, British Irish Cup match of the weekend as well on uh, on Saturday evening. So um, again, uh, what happens with our squad will depend on what happens with that, with that squad. So uh, at the moment, we couldn't really comment on them ones. They beat Harlequins at the weekend, so that's quite yeah. yeah. Harlequins at home, they, they had a great win against them. Uh, Harlequins have been going very well. They like some of the some of the rugby that was played in, in the game was, was was of a very high high standard. Like they play high tempo and uh, they'll really put a put a test to us this weekend.